To understand shutter speed, let's first have a quick lesson on something called your camera shutter. To simply put this, your camera shutter is a curtain in front of the camera sensor that stays closed until the camera either takes a photo or begins recording. When this happens, the shutter opens and fully exposes the camera sensor to the light that has passed through your lens. After the sensor is done collecting the light, the shutter closes immediately, stopping the light from hitting the sensor. So shutter speed is the length of time your camera shutter is open, exposing light onto the camera sensor. It's essentially a timer for how much light your camera shutter lets into your camera to take a photo or video. Your shutter speed is measured in seconds and you'll often find it right here on your camera. It usually ranges from 1 8,000th of a second, where it virtually lets no light into your camera, all the way to 30 seconds or slower. So in technical terms, allowing a flip load of light into your camera. But what is the perfect shutter speed for your video? A good rule to follow is ensuring that your shutter speed is approximately double your frame rate. And you can usually find your frame rate on your camera screen and it looks like a number with the letter P next to it. So step one, find your frame rate. Step two, turn the wheel on your camera to change the shutter speed so it is double your frame rate. And that's it. Having your shutter speed double your frame rate gives you the most natural amount of motion blur when there is movement in your video. If you have it super high, you can see all the movement has become really, really sharp. And on the flip side, if you have your shutter speed too low, then things start to look a bit ghostly. Did you hear that? Spooky. Anyway, don't forget to follow and subscribe to our channels so you don't miss out on any future videos. Looking forward to seeing you guys soon.